It's Missy and Ciola. How are you? I am so excited to teach you how to start creating a nonfiction narrative writing checklist for revising and editing your work. First, I'm going to show you how to create a nonfiction narrative writing checklist and how to use it to revise and edit my work. Then you'll have time to create your own nonfiction narrative writing checklist. When you're done, you'll get to keep it in a safe spot to use later on to revise and edit your work. When we create this nonfiction narrative writing checklist, we are only going to add a few things to look for in our writing right now. We will be adding new items to it over the next few weeks, so continue to keep it in a safe spot at home. The first thing I'm going to do to create my nonfiction narrative writing checklist is to take a blank piece of paper and title it at the top. I am going to title mine exactly what it is, my nonfiction narrative writing checklist. As I am writing, I'm going to carefully sound out my words. You can tell me what letters you hear and I will record them. Are you ready? My, mm -hmm. I, nonfiction, mm. ah, mm. Ik narrative, mm. writing, writing, checklist, there's my title. Now I am going to think about the main parts of my nonfiction narrative that I had to write. Do you remember what the first sentence was called? An introductory sentence. I am going to add that to my nonfiction narrative writing checklist because I want to make sure I have one at the opening of my nonfiction narrative. To add it to my nonfiction narrative writing checklist, I'm going to start by making a bullet, like a little dot under my title to help organize all of the ideas I'm going to include. Just like that. Now I am going to write the first thing that I'm going to look for in my nonfiction narrative when I use my checklist. Introductory sentence. As I am writing, I'm going to carefully sound out my words. You can tell me what letters you hear and I will record them. It or the sentence introductory sentence now i'm going to pick a symbol that i can use to identify my introductory sentence in my nonfiction narrative from beginning to end i am going to choose to use a green underline that means when I am using my nonfiction narrative writing checklist to revise and edit my own nonfiction narrative later, I will underline it in green to help me identify that I included it. This is what I'm going to do to make sure I remember that symbol. I added it right next to introductory sentence on my checklist. Now, I am going to think about the next main part of my nonfiction narrative that I had to write. Do you remember what the three following sentences were called? Event sentences. I am going to add that to my nonfiction narrative writing checklist because I want to make sure I have at least three in my nonfiction narrative to tell the beginning, middle, and end of my story. To add it to my nonfiction narrative writing checklist, I'm going to make another bullet under my first one. 
just like that. Now I am going to write the second thing I'm going to look for in my nonfiction narrative when I use my checklist. Three event sentences. As I am writing, I'm going to carefully sound out my words. You can tell me what letters you hear and I will record them. Three. Event. E. F. Sentences. F. F. Now, I am going to pick a new symbol that I can use to identify my three event sentences and my nonfiction narrative from beginning to end. I am going to choose to use a blue underline. That means when I'm using my nonfiction narrative writing checklist to revise and edit my own nonfiction narrative, I will underline all three of them in blue to help me identify that I included them. To help me remember that, this is how I'm going to add that symbol to my nonfiction narrative writing checklist. There's my blue underline. Now I am going to think about the last main part of my nonfiction narrative that I had to write. Do you remember what that sentence was called? A closing sentence. I am going to add that to my nonfiction narrative writing checklist because I want to make sure I have a closing sentence to finish my nonfiction narrative. To add it to my nonfiction narrative writing checklist, I'm going to make another bullet under my second one, just like this. Now I am going to write the third thing that I'm going to look for in my nonfiction narrative when I use my checklist, closing sentence. As I am writing, I'm going to carefully sound out my words. You can tell me what letters you hear and I will record them. Closing. Ooh. O. A. Sentence. A. N. Now, I am going to pick a symbol that I can use for my closing sentence for my nonfiction narrative when I identify it from beginning to end. I'm going to choose to use a red underline. That means when I'm using my nonfiction narrative writing checklist to revise and edit my own nonfiction narrative, I will underline it in red to help me identify that I included it. To help me remember that symbol, here's how I'm going to add it to my checklist now. Now, my nonfiction narrative writing checklist is finished for right now. Those are the only things that I'm going to include and check for in my own nonfiction narrative at this time. I'm going to show you how to use your nonfiction narrative writing checklist to revise and edit your work next. When I do that, first I'm going to look at my nonfiction narrative writing checklist and see what I need to check for first in my piece of writing. Introductory sentence. Now I'm going to start rereading my nonfiction narrative to look for my introductory sentence. When I find it, I'm going to pause and use the symbol from my checklist to mark it on my piece of paper, that green underline. Why don't we start by reading together? Last summer, I went to the zoo. Ooh. I think this is my introductory sentence because it tells my readers what my story is about. My checklist says to underline it in green, so I am going to underline my introductory sentence in green. Remember, a sentence is not just a line across the paper. It's a complete thought that starts with an uppercase letter and ends with a period. So watch how I underline mine. Last summer, I went to the zoo. 
I have an introductory sentence in my nonfiction narrative. Now I'm going to look at my nonfiction narrative writing checklist and see what I need to check for next in my piece of writing. Three event sentences. Now I'm going to continue rereading my nonfiction narrative to look for my three event sentences. When I find one, I'm going to pause and use the symbol from my checklist to mark it on my piece of writing, that blue underline. Let's start by reading together. First, I saw a huge gray elephant. Ooh, I think this is my first event sentence because it tells my readers the first thing that happened in my story. Let's underline it in blue. First, I saw a huge gray elephant. Now, I need to look for two more. Let's keep reading. Next, I walked by a roaring lion. Ooh, I think this is my second event sentence because it tells my readers the second thing that happened in my story. My checklist says to underline it in blue, so I'm going to underline my second event sentence in blue. Next, I walked by a roaring lion. Now I need to look for one more. Let's keep reading together. Finally, I visited a silly monkey. Ooh, I think this is my third event sentence because it tells my readers the third thing that happened in my story. My checklist says to underline it in blue, so I'm going to underline my third event sentence in blue. Finally, I visited a silly monkey. Now I have found at least three event sentences in my nonfiction narrative. Now I am going to look at my nonfiction narrative writing checklist and see what I need to check for last in my piece of writing. Closing sentence. Now I am going to continue rereading my nonfiction narrative to look for my closing sentence. When I find it, I'm going to pause and use the symbol from my checklist to mark it on a piece of writing, that red underline. Let's read together. I love going to the zoo and I can't wait to go back. Ooh, I think this is my closing sentence because it tells my readers my reaction of how I felt about my story. My checklist says to underline it in red, so I'm going to underline my closing sentence in red. I love going to the zoo and I can't wait to go back. There's my closing sentence. Wow, it looks like I found everything that was on my nonfiction narrative writing checklist. I underlined an introductory sentence in green, three event sentences in blue, and a closing sentence in red. If you didn't find something when you were revising and editing your work, now is the perfect time to add it in. Remember, adding an idea to your work does not necessarily mean that you need to go back and erase anything from what you've already done. You can practice drawing what we call a carrot, an arrow that looks like this. wherever you would like to add to your writing. And then you can use some smaller letters to record what you would like to add right above it, like this up here. Now it's your turn. Make your own nonfiction narrative writing checklist. Then use it to revise and edit your own work. Remember, we will continue adding to our checklists in the future, so be sure to keep yours in a safe spot until next time. Good luck.